Hello, this is Kim, and I'm back in the orphanage. Have you already heard how Jump Jump of Holiday House and I saved Christmas? Jump Jump, the little elf from Holiday House, and I had a very exciting time at the North Pole. Santa Claus's reindeer had been kidnapped by the Ice Queen, and without the reindeer, he couldn't deliver toys on Christmas Eve. So Jump Jump, the little elf, the others from Holiday House, and I went to the Ice Queen's palace and had rescued the reindeer. Then on the Ice Queen's magic television screen, we showed the Ice Queen the faces of all the children in the world. The children were happy because they were waiting for Santa Claus. And when the Ice Queen heard them laugh and sing, her heart began to melt. And she told us she was sorry, and she tried to, that she tried to hurt Santa Claus and destroy Christmas. So we all climbed on the wishing star and whizzed back toward the holiday house. It was almost Christmas Eve by the time, and what happened on Christmas Eve, I'll tell you in just a minute. <laughs> Somewhere on our trip back in the wishing star, I had fallen asleep because next morning when I woke up, I wasn't at Holiday House at all. I was back at the orphanage in my own bed. My friend Billy told me that the matron of the orphanage had found me asleep in the woods. I can't quite understand that, unless, of course, Mary Holiday, Archie Posley, Sleepy Slim, and Jump Jump put me there instead of taking me on to Holiday House so that I'd be home on Christmas Eve. And it was nice to be home at the orphanage on Christmas Eve, especially since before supper I had told everybody about the wonderful adventure I'd had with Santa Claus and Jump Jump of Holiday House. Billy was excited about my telling him that Santa Claus would be coming to the orphanage, for sure. Billy had been worried for fear that Santa Claus only went to the homes where there were mothers and fathers and lots of brothers and sisters. But Billy still wouldn't go in and join the rest of the kids who were singing Christmas carols. He kept asking me questions like, Did you really see Santa Claus, Kim? And did he say he'd come tonight for sure? And the clown? Does Archipogli the clown really have blue hair? Did Mary Holiday tell you a story, Kim? And can you really put Jump Jump in your pocket? Who is Sleepy Slim the lion? I answered all his questions the best I could. But, but still, well, I know some of the kids at the orphanage, and Mrs. Burns, the matron, too, thought I was making up the whole story just to entertain Billy. I wasn't, though, because just as everybody finished singing, it came upon a midnight clear. There was a knock at the orphanage door, and the door opened. And in came Santa Claus himself. Oh, Santa Claus! Oh, Santa Claus! Well, hello there. Hello there. Of course, it's Santa Claus. How are you all? How are you? Of course, it was Santa Claus, all right. He had come to the orphanage just like he'd promised. But there was something else that made me rub my eyes with surprise. Or who do you think was with Santa Claus? Everybody from Holiday House. Is my friend Tim here? Tim, where are you, Tim? Here. Oh, here I am, Santa Claus. Yes, here you are, Tim. Well, guess what I have here in the thumb of my glove, Tim. Yes, there, will you? I, I can't guess, Santa Claus. 
My, I'm glad to see you, though. <laughs> no, I'm glad to see you, Tim. I'm very grateful to you, you know, for helping rescue my reindeer. But guess what I have in the thumb of my glove? Come on, I come on. can't. Why, Tim, never say you can't until you've tried. Try. What do I have in the thumb of my glove? Hmm? Your thumb? <laughs> Oh, it's Jump Jump, Santa Claus. You brought Jump Jump, the little elf from Holiday House. Of course I brought Jump Jump. Now my glove is off. Uh, jump out and say hello, Jump Jump. Hello, Tim. Oh, hello, Jump Jump. Look, everybody. Look, it's Jump Jump from Holiday House, just like I told you. See, he's coming. He's jumping up and down in the palm of Santa Claus's hand. <laughs> jump up under my shoulder, Jump Jump. Oh, it's wonderful to see you again. I'm glad to see you, too, Tim. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, and, Tim, guess what else I brought? Guess who's behind me? Guess who's standing behind me right this minute? Hmm? Oh, Santa Claus, I don't have to guess. I know I see Merry Holiday Sliver behind your boot. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. And I see Archie Pogley's red nose over your shoulder, Santa Claus. <laughs> I say, I say, hello, everybody, hello. As a famous man once said, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, and, and there's the poet, too. Hello, poet. Come on out from behind, Santa Claus. I see your bow tie sticking out on either side of Santa's ears. I'm so glad you remembered to come and see us, poet. Hello, Tim, my little friend. Think of you? Of course I do. As Christmas time draws near and hope the day will bring your way its brightest joy and cheer. Oh, and there's Sleepy Slim the lion. <laughs> Come on out from behind Santa Claus, Sleepy Slim. Your tail is dragging on the floor. <laughs> Sleepy Slim the lion is asleep, Tim. You might have known. You'll have to speak louder. Sleepy Slim walking in his sleep again. <laughs> yes. Sleepy Slim, wake up. Sleepy Slim Slim, and he's always sleepy because, well, because... Because I'm so wise, that's why. I'm so wise. I'm very wise. You realize it's really quite a strain. I have to sleep so I can keep from wearing out my brain. I know it's necessary to eat three meals a day, but oh, it is so very hard to stay asleep that way. I sleep all day and never play and I hardly ever eat. He can't get fat by doing that. Don't you miss your meat? Yeah, yeah, I'm very fond of eating. There's food upon my shelf. But if food I take, I stay awake. And then I think, and I can't sleep a wink. You can see it's hard to be the king of beasts who never feasts. <laughs> so I'd rather be a elf myself. <laughs> oh, we've brought presents for you all. Presents for everybody. Sleepy Slim the lion, give the children the dolls that look like you. He can't, Santa Claus. Sleepy Slim is asleep already. Asleep? <laughs> asleep this early on Christmas Eve? Oh, I wish the children would go to sleep early like this on Christmas Eve. Then I'd get back to the North Pole earlier. <laughs> but here, here are the dolls that look like Sleepy Slim the Lion. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Red oh, underwear. Red red high cap and all. Thank you so much. And here are the dolls that look like that pink-haired, blue-haired, white-haired, red-haired. I'm green-haired tonight, Santa Claus. Christmas, you know. I'm green-haired, so it'll go with my red nose. <laughs> I'm a jolly old clown, I never do frown, I make little children laugh with glee, I never do whine cause I haven't got time, I'm a silly old clown as you can see, yo ho ho ha ha ha, a silly old clown as you can see, <laughs> I make little children laugh with glee. Oh, yes, Santa 
across jump jump has been jumping up and down, backwards and forwards and sideways for ten minutes. But he couldn't get a word in edgewise. Oh, no, not even as fast as jump jump talk. <laughs> no, Santa Claus. <laughs> no, I want to show them snow dolls, Santa Claus. What? Yes, jump jump, what is it? Show them about snow dolls. Your doll, jump jump? Oh, of course, your doll, Jennifer. Where is Jennifer, jump jump? <laughs> right here. Here is Jennifer. See? She looks like me. <laughs> yes, everybody. Meet Jump Jump's doll. This is Jennifer Joke. See her long red hair and her jumper suit? See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a pupil. <laughs> Catchy little song, it certainly is. <laughs> this is Jennifer, little Jennifer. Jump, jump, not on Christmas Eve. You know the Christmas story, Tim. Everybody does. It's the prettiest story of all. About the star in the sky, and the baby in the manger, and of the wise men of the east, and the shepherds on the hills. You know how the angels sang, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth, goodwill to men. But the story doesn't end, Jump Jump. The story goes on and on forever. And every Christmas Eve, if we listen to our hearts, we can hear the angels singing, Peace on Earth, Goodwill to Men. Merry Holiday. <laughs> May I and the other kids come to Holiday House often and visit with you and Sleepy Slim and Poet and Archie Pogley and Jump Jump? Oh, please do, Tim. Please and do. you can visit with me, too, at Holiday House, because every day is a holiday at Holiday House. <laughs> but uh, tonight is my busy night, so we'd better be on our way, everybody. Oh, we oh, hate to have you go, Santa Claus. Oh, but thank you so much for coming, Santa Claus. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie Pogley, Sleepy Slim... And the poet and Jump Jump and Merry Holiday. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. Goodbye. 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 And Merry Christmas. Goodbye. And with that, all Goodbye. my friends from Holiday House Goodbye. begin saying goodbye and shouting Merry Christmas, everybody, to us all. And the first thing you know, they were gone. But oh, how happy everybody was at the orphanage that year. And just before I went to sleep that night, I thought for sure I heard Jump Jump say, Merry Christmas, Tim. Merry Christmas. We saved the Christmas, didn't we? Yes, we did, Jump Jump. Yes, we rescued Santa's reindeer and saved Christmas. I know you'll all have a nice Christmas this year. And I hope every one of you finds a Jump Jump doll in your stocking Christmas morning. See you soon at Holiday House. (laughs) 